Well, I did not wanna do this, but uh, it appears that Kyle Rinhouse, as of this year right now, has been freed. Why? Let me read you from the NPR website. The January 5th article, which says, Kyle Rinhouse accused of Kenosha shootings pleads not guilty at all charges. So I'm going to read this to you right now. Kyle Hurenhaus, a young gunman facing criminal charges in the killing of two men and a serious injury of a third this summer in Kenosha, Wisconsin, entered not guilty pleas to all charges during an arrangement Tuesday. Hurenhaus, now 18, appeared before Kenosha County Circuit Court Commissioner Warren King by video link from the office of his attorney, Mark Richards. He is free on $2 million bail, largely pr provided by donors. Renaus was wearing a white, blue shirt and dark tie, along with a black facial covering. King asked Renaus if he understood the previous imposed conditions of bond and bail remaining in full force in effect. Renaus replied, Yes, sir. The charges facing Rinhouse included first degree intentional homicide, first degree reckless homicide, and attempted first degree international hom reckless homicide. An additional charge of violation of curfew of the night of the shooting was added last week, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel reported. Rinhouse is accused of shooting three men. Anthony Hoover and Joseph Rosenbaum, who were killed, engaged Gross Kruzich, who was seriously wounded during unrest in the city following police shooting of Jacob Blake. The not guilty pleas by Renaz come as Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers authorized the mobilization of the five hundred of the state's National Guard troops while officials are ready for potentially more unrest in Kenosha. Michael Gravely, the Kenosha County District Attorney, announced Tuesday no charges will be brought against the white Kenosha police officer who shot Blake and a, a black man several times at close range in August. Renaud's case has highlighted divisions in the United States on issues of race and gun control. Conservative groups and sympathizers have sought to pain Rittenhouse, who was 17 at the time of August 25th shooting, as a staunch supporter of the Blue Lives Matter movement and a patriot. He is said to have crossed into Wisconsin from Antonach, Illinois, near the Wisconsin-Illinois border where he lives, to join Miltman, who were purported to be in Kenosha to help law enforcement protect property from being destroyed during the August protests. Black Lives Matter supporters and others have sought to characterize Rittenhouse as a white vigilante who brought a semi-automatic weapon already destructive demonstrations with the intent of stroking more violence. A potential coverage for Rittenhouse is scheduled for March 10th. Fast forward to five days and ten days ago at the time of uh, 
two days ago. Kyle Rittenhouse was posed for photos with Proud Boy supporters at a bar after being released on $2 million bail. And I'm going to read this to you now as well. Kyle Rittenhouse, a teenager charged with killing two people during breakfast in Kenosha, Wisconsin over summer, was recently spotted drinking at a bar and posing for photos with apparent Proud Boy sympathizers after being released from jail on $2 million bond, prosecutors say. Now, prosecutors in the state have filed a motion to modify Rittenhouse bound conditions. Rittenhouse, who was 17 at the time of the shooting, was charged as an adult with two counts of first degree homicide and one count of attempted homicide. He also faces charges of endangering the safety of two other victims and processing a weapon while under the age of 18. Under the age of 18. On January 5th, he pleaded not guilty to all charges. According to the motion filed by prosecutors after his arrangement on January 5th, Brennan House was seen drinking at Prodigy's pub in Mount Pleasant, Wisconsin. He associated press reports. Although he is 18, he was legally allowed to drink in Wisconsin since he was with his mother. Prosecutors say Rittenhouse posed with two men for a photo as they all made the OK symbol with their hands, a gesture used by white supremacists. Men at the bar also played the song Proud of Your Boy for Rittenhouse, which is used as a Proud Boys anthem. Proud Boys are a right wing extremist group known from anti-Muslim and misogynistic rhetoric according to the Sovereign Poverty Law Center, an advocacy organization that tracks hate groups. A Proud Boys leader was arrested in Washington, D.C. ahead of the riot last week, and some members have been identified as part of the pro-Trump mod that attacked the U.S. Capitol. The Wisconsin prosecutor motion says the defendant's continued association with the members of the of group that price itself on violence and the use of their symbols raises the significant possibility of future harm. Further, this association may severe to intimidate potential witnesses. Prosecutors allege that on the third night of protest last August over the police shooting of Jacob Blake, a 29-year-old black man who was left paralyzed, Rittenhouse fatally shot Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Hoover and wounded a third person in the air style rifle. Since the shooting, Rittenhouse has attracted support from right-wing commentators who claim he was acting in self-defense and he's raised millions of dollars in an online legal defense fund. He was returned to jail on November 20th after posting $2 million bail bond and is scheduled to return to court for another hearing on March 10th. Now, in the past couple of months now, possibly two, I have made vid videos on Kyle Rittenhouse and I'll probably continue to do so in the future of this year. but. It's so
reassuring to know that that the court that the court system is probably broken at this point because I know that some of you who are Kyle Rittenhouse fans are going to still claim that he did it for self-defense and I still don't agree with that. I don't agree that he did it for self-defense at all. And I still have that same thought as I did several videos ago. And the reason why I don't agree is because there are laws like this for a reason. If you're under the age of 18, and you shoot a gun in Wisconsin. Kyle Greenhouse was only 17 at the time. Now that CBS News say, is saying that he's now 18. Which I guess his birthday happened some time ago. this month but this doesn't justify the fact that he did illegally use a gun when he was 17 currently 17 in in the summer of August 2020 and the fact that he shot two innocent victims while he was under the age of 18 at the time in August 2020. Still, I still think that he should have learned his lesson even harder. I still think that he should have gotten time in prison. But the fact that he is is free and not in jail anymore is still so annoying to probably read any of these articles that show that he is still like outside enjoying life I mean I don't like the fact that he pleaded not guilty to all charges. I mean, he was charged as an adult at the age of 17 in August for first degree homicide and one account of attempted homicide and recklessly endangering the safety of two other victims and possessing the weapon while he was under the age of 18. Which means he really shouldn't even had a gun in the first place until he turned 18, which is probably this month, according to me. I just don't understand how how any of this makes sense because he did illegally break the law in Wisconsin 
I mean, that's what the law officially says right here. I mean, seriously, when Giverts.com it says Wisconsin generally prohibits the intentional transfer of any firearm to any to an individual under age the age of 18. The state also generally prohibits the possession of a firearm by any person under age 18. Wisconsin law generally provides that for hunting purposes, the minimum age for possession or control of a firearm is age 12. Kyle Rinhouse was not an adult yet, but now that he is, he can officially legally own a gun. But at the time, last summer, in August 2020, he wasn't illegally allowed to use a gun. And Yeah, there was this person who who gave Kyle Rittenhouse the gun in order to shoot people without realizing that that the Wisconsin law stated to where the guy that that guy who gave uh, Kyle Rittenhouse the gun didn't like look into was that Kyle Rittenhouse was extremely too young to use a gun. Even if he has been training for or was training for a police cadet at the time. That doesn't fucking mean that he should be allowed to use a gun to kill two victims. I still disagree that he's a hero. I seriously still disagree with that. Because it's so pointless for It's so pointless that people who, like, worship Kyle Rittenhouse don't understand the legitimacy of the problem with, with the way he's using his guns. And the fact that he uses this excuse to say that he was doing it for self-defense Still let me to believe that he is not in the right. To which in bad, I think he's still in the wrong. But since uh, he's no longer in jail right now. Well... I guess that's a victory for Kyle Rittenhouse then. But when the time changes, I do hope that the that victory for Kyle Rittenhouse is a shorter victory. Celebrate now while you can, but a victory like this 
to where you actually broke the law, despite if it was for self-defense or not. You wouldn't get a chance to be a hero. And I don't claim you as a hero. Some people might claim you as a hero. And some people might not you claim claim you as a hero. And how I see it is that Kyle kind of announced to me it is never a hero in the first place. I mean, he really shouldn't have been there at the age of 17. He should have waited until January of this year to be to be at Kenosha, Wisconsin, Lithuania. At the age of 18. He shouldn't be there at the age of 17 in Wisconsin to shoot an innocent person. Or should I say two innocent people? He really shouldn't be there until he turned 18. Now that he turned 18, that would have been a different story. Well, yeah, I digress. So, yeah, go enjoy your life for now, Kyle Renaus. But I pray to God that it won't last long. 